This is our rear foot elevated RDL. This is a hinge movement pattern. So very similar setup to our split squat where we take that foot back, but now we want the heel almost in alignment. So our knees are both almost in line as though my foot was on the ground side by side. In this, this is a hinge where we're keeping the hips high. There will be a slight knee bend, a softening of that knee. It's not the squat that we just did, okay? So as we work through this, think high hips, hips go back, back stays neutral, and that kettlebell or dumbbell is gonna stay right in front of that knee. We're not gonna let it drift out as we work through this. So. Here's what we look like loaded. We'll get set up. Now, dumbbell stays close, hips go back, back stays flat neutral, nice and crisp as we come up. So you should really be feeling a good stretch through that hamstring, nice and controlled down, make sure we're balanced, and then we drive that hip through at the top. 